Welcome back. Welcome back. So we have that question and we want to see how to get the radius. If we are already given the arc length. We are given the arc length, the arc length and the angle. And we are not given the radius. So we go ahead and use the formula again. Uh, if we have the angle 144, we have the arc length 62.8. What is the radius? So we have the formula. Our formula says the arc length is given by the angle, the substance, divided by 360 times 2 pi uh, radius. Remember, the angle that substance will simply give us the fraction, the fraction of the circle made by that arc. The fraction of the circle made by that arc. Uh, and so, we can substitute from there. If the angle is 144, 144 degrees, we divide by 360 simply to get the fraction of the circle that is made by that particular arc. Multiply by 2, uh, 2 pi r is the uh, formula for the circumference. So 2 times pi is 3.142 and then we multiply by r which we don't know. And the arc length itself is 62.8 centimeters. So we just substitute there. Now, from uh, that substitution, from that substitution, uh, we can go back and get R. We can cross multiply, divide, and get R as the subject of the formula. So R. R in this case is given by 62.8 we multiply this one by 360 divided by 144 okay so we are going to get the reciprocal of the fraction of this uh, the circle then again we multiply by the reciprocal of 2 1 over 2 then we multiply by the reciprocal of the uh, pi, 1 over 3.142. And so, calculating from there, punching into our calculator, we get the answer to be, the answer of the radius to be 24.98 centimeters. So the circle whose radius is 24.98 centimeters uh, will form an arc length of 62.8 centimeters when the angle that sustains that arc is 144 degrees. Look at the last example in our case of the arc length. Uh, not the last, but one other example, find the angle. Now we have started by finding the arc length. Now we again came to finding the radius. Now how do we find the angle? How do we find the angle? Find the angle subs uh, sustained at the center of a circle by an arc length of 11 centimeters. If the radius of the circle is 21. So this time we need to find the angle, the angle that uh, subtends that uh, that arc length of 11 centimeters. The radius is 21 centimeters. So again, from there we substitute. We know our formula is still the same formula that we are going to use. Uh, the angle is the one that will give us the fraction of the circle, but it is not given in this case. We are only given the uh, arc length. So we can substitute. We can substitute. If we are given the arc length of 11, so 11 centimeters will be equal to the angle which we don't know, divided by 360, multiplied by 2 pi uh, r. 2 
times pi, which is 22 over 7, then times the radius, the radius has been given as 21, times 21. So again, we are going to uh, manipulate those figures, okay? cross multiply, uh, divide, and get the angle. So in our case, we are going to cross multiply 360. So it is going to be 11 multiplied by 360, multiply there, we divide uh, by the reciprocal of 2, that is divide by 2, and then again we divide by 22, and then again we divide by 21, then we multiply by 7, and this is going to give us the angle theta. So it is going to be 11 multiplied by 360 multiplied by 7 divided by 2 divided by 22 divided by 21. That angle theta is going to give us 30 degrees. It is going to be the same as 30 degrees. So these are questions that are practical. We can get such questions like these ones to know what exactly we need to calculate from the formula of the arc length. You can calculate the angle, you can calculate the arc length itself, you can also calculate the radius uh, if it is not given. Now look at this question which is a practical question. The figure below shows a door that opens on one side. We have doors in our homes that open on one side and once they open they chase a certain arc, a certain arc length. So in our case, that door is open at an angle of 60 degrees, and that door is chasing a certain arc. Now, if uh, when the door opens, it makes an angle of 60 degrees, calculate the length of the uh, the, the arc length the door traces if the width of the door is 150 the width the width of that door is 150 so how much does it chase does it chase if the width of that door from one end to the other end of the door is 150 how much will it chase if the angle given there is 60 degrees if it has been opened by an angle of 60 degrees so uh, we substitute from there. We substitute from there. So we need to calculate the arc length. So the arc length will be equal to the angle that gives us the fraction, which is 60 degrees, divided by 360. Then we are going to multiply uh, that by uh, 2 pi can take any pi because it does not be restricted. You can take pi of 1 or 2, pi of 1 for 2, 1 for 1, 3.142, then multiply by the radius, which is 150. The width, 150. So if we do that, uh, we realize that uh, uh, 60 divided by 360 times 2 times 3.142 times 150. Then our answer will be 157.1 centimeters. So the door will trace a certain path equal to 157.1 centimeters. And this is a very practical uh, question. Another practical question uh, is this question. Uh, the figure below shows the path traced by a gate when it is opening. The figure is here. So the gate is a two-way gate. It opens on both sides. It is a two-way gate. Uh, the distance from one end of the gate to the other end is 3 meters. 
and the, the gate is opening at an angle of 40 degrees. So calculate the up length that is covered from A to O, one side, A to O. So again, we are going to apply in our formula, this formula, and uh, from that formula, uh, we know the radius will be half that distance. So if the distance from one end to the other end is three meters, then one flap of the gate will be having a length of 1.5. We are just going to divide that one by two, and that is going to give us the radius. So the radius will be three divided by two, which is 1.5. So the moment we substitute that, L, the arc length, will be 40 degrees divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi 22 over 7 then multiplied by 1.5 and we can see that that is giving us 1.048 centimeters that will be the distance the distance that one flap uh, chases as it opens uh, opens at an angle of 40 degrees. So uh, you, I'll give you some more questions in uh, our Google uh, class. So once you uh, uh, see this video, please visit the Google class so that you get your questions. Thank you very much.